On Friday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, alongside more than 130 former world leaders, Nobel laureates, scientists and celebrities, signed an open letter from the People's Vaccine Alliance. The letter calls for an end to vaccine monopolies from Western countries and urgent action to vaccinate low- and middle-income countries and bring an end to the COVID-1 pandemic. The People's Vaccine Alliance demands coronavirus vaccines, treatments and tests are freely available to everyone, everywhere. The letter warns that leaving billions of people unvaccinated risks leading to dangerous new variants of COVID-1. The letter criticizes the EU, UK, Germany and Switzerland for continuing to block the lifting of intellectual property rules which would enable the redistribution and scale-up of COVID-1 vaccine, test and treatment manufacturing in the global south. It also issued five demands to world leaders including to urgently agree and implement a global roadmap to deliver the WHO goal of fully vaccinating 70% of people by mid-2022. Another calls for maximizing the production of safe and effective vaccines and other COVID-1 products by suspending relevant intellectual property rules. The open letter goes on to warn, the pandemic is not over, and blamed, self-defeating nationalism, pharmaceutical monopolies and inequality, for not vaccinating the world against the virus. It goes on to add, the transfer of largely publicly funded vaccine technology and know-how from pharmaceutical corporations would fast-track production to a matter of months. Yet still today, a handful of these corporations retain the power to dictate vaccine supply, distribution and price, and the power to decide who lives and who dies. Commenting on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's political move, royal biographer Angela Levin claims the pair aren't experts either, but added that they like bashing the UK. She also claimed the couple have terrible. In a tweet, the royal expert wrote Prince Harry and Meghan Markle today accused the UK and rich neighbours of pursuing self defeating nationalism to deny African and Asian countries the right to make their own COVID 1 vaccines. What terrible timing! They are not experts either but do like bashing the UK. It comes after the Sussex's Archwell Foundation officially partnered with the People's Vaccine, with investment into the coalition. In a statement, the People's Vaccine said, We are proud to welcome Archwell Foundation to the alliance and appreciate their support, alongside Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. We will work together to end vaccine inequity and ensure COVID-1 vaccines, treatments and tests are available to everyone. They added Archwell's support will go toward the alliance's ongoing campaigns and efforts to secure fair vaccine access for low- and middle-income countries. Harry and Meghan had commented on the theme of vaccine equity on numerous occasions and previously compared it to the HIV crisis in the 180s and 10s. In October, the couple joined forces with WHO Director General, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus to issue an open letter urging G20 leaders to ensure vaccine supplies for all nations. In September, the couple also made an appearance at Global Citizen Live where they called for equal global vaccine distribution. The pair implored world leaders and pharmaceutical companies to treat access to the COVID-1 vaccine as basic human rights.